Join Kids Hat Family. Oh, Tofu, I am so sorry, but your project still isn't up to the mark. You need to do better. But Miss Clary, this is the fourth time I made this project. I know, Tofu, but it needs some improvement. Tofu, what's wrong? Dear, I failed my science project for the fourth time. I don't think I can ever fulfill my dream of being a scientist. Oh, Tofu, don't give up on your dream just because you couldn't get your project passed. You must stay consistent in working towards your goal no matter what. That's exactly what Princess Isabella did too. Princess Isabella? Yes, come on, I'll tell you a story. Change your mood now. Princess Isabella Once upon a time, in a magical kingdom far away, there lived a young princess named Isabella. She had long golden hair and big blue eyes that sparkled like diamonds. One day, while taking a walk in the royal gardens, she stumbled upon a mysterious cave. Wow! I've never seen this cave before. I wonder what's inside. As she cautiously walked inside, she saw a glowing magical crystal. Without thinking, she picked it up and suddenly the world around her started to spin. When she opened her eyes, she found herself in a completely different world. Where am I? What happened? Just then, a kind fairy appeared before her. Welcome to the enchanted forest, my dear. You're here because of the magical crystal you picked up. It has transported you to this world. But how do I go back to my kingdom? To return to your kingdom, you must find the magical flower that only blooms in the heart of the forest. It's guarded by a fierce dragon. But don't worry, I'll be with you every step of the way. Thank you, fairy. Let's go find that flower. And so, Isabella and the fairy set out on a journey through the enchanted forest. Along the way, they encountered many magical creatures such as talking animals, fairies and even a unicorn. Wow, this is amazing. I never knew such a magical world existed. Yes, it's a world full of wonders and adventures. After many trials and tribulations, they finally reached the heart of the forest where they saw the dragon guarding the magical flower. Oh no! How are we going to get past the dragon? Don't worry Isabella, I have a plan. You distract the dragon and I'll grab the flower for you. Okay, I'll try my best. As Isabella started to distract the dragon, the fairy swiftly snatched the flower and handed it to Isabella. We did it! Now, how do we go back to my kingdom? Just hold the flower and wish to go back to your kingdom. Isabella closed her eyes and wished with all her heart to go back to her kingdom. When she opened her eyes, she found herself back in her own world holding the magical flower. Thank you, fairy, for all your help. I'll never forget this magical adventure. The moral of the story is that you must always believe in the magic within you and never give up on your dreams. With perseverance and determination, anything and everything is possible. Wow, that was a wonderful story. It surely did give me a lot of confidence. Thanks, Tia. The dragon is your science project and the magical flower is your dream. 
come on now let's get you all prepped up for the fifth attempt at the project yay i will pass it this time thanks tia for your favorite rhymes stories and more join kids hat family subscribe here